All right, everyone, welcome. I am so psyched you're here. This is my favorite time of year, being at Love Camp and supporting us in creating an amazing new year. If you are not on mute, you might want to go on mute just for, for now. And, um, and I will be your camp director. This is Laser Beam Larry. He's gonna, he's gonna join us today and throughout the journey. Um, definitely wanna stay for this whole time today because at the end we're gonna work on um, setting our intentions and you know, opening up this new beginning for this week. Um, but mostly what I want to help everyone with is to get a, an, an idea of how to be at camp and what to expect. So I know I've met all you people here. If we haven't met and you're watching the recording, my name is Macy Matarazzo and I am the CEO of Big Happy Love Coaching and the creator of the Super Love System. And this is our actual fourth year of Love Camp. I thought it was the fifth. I was saying it was the fifth, it's actually the fourth. Um, but that's still a lot of years of doing this special um, process. And, you know, I really believe, I know because I've experienced it and I'm sure all of you have, this is a really special time of year to create new beginnings. I mean, we, we're heading into the new year, but there is this, this amazing momentum with so many people on the planet considering what they want to create at the same time. And when you have that group consciousness, you really get the opportunity to ride the wave. And not only that, first time since I've ever done this class where we're starting on a very kind of auspicious day, we're starting on the new moon, but also a solar eclipse. And this is crazy huge stuff. So one, I want to say yay for us because we get to ride this together. And the, the teachings and the classes that we're doing this week are absolutely going to um, support you in anything that may arise as a result of this eclipse energy, because it can bring up some stuff um, and, and let you, and give you some tools to, you know, consciously, deliberately set your intentions and create change. You know, if you are here because you do want to find the one in 2021, then um, certainly, this is a, a no brainer because, you know, everything that I do, I really do talk to the manifesting tools from that perspective. But I also want to say that if you're here and you know, you, you, there's probably other things in your life that you're wanting to create, that it, it all works the same. So using this, this process that we're going to go through in these five days, there's really a conscious arc that we're going to uh, embark on from Monday through Friday this week, starting today though, starting today. So at the end of this class, Larry and I created a really special little exercise for us to do um, together that's going to totally knock your red and green socks off. Camp colors. <laughs> um, so um. So that's really the kind of bigger picture here. Um, and so as you're joining here, how many of you know uh, what cabin you're in? I'm seeing actually a couple different, actually there's a lot of lovely ladies. Okay, so post in the comments what cabin you're in. I'm just curious to know what's represented um, today and 
there's lovely ladies. There's a lot of lovely ladies live on the call. That is so funny. Okay, good. We got a unicorn. Oh, yay. Hi, Valerie. Oh, there's more people who have joined. Awesome. Okay, great. So you know your cabins. And this is just really a fun way, like as you're in the group, you know, using that hashtag of your cat. Oh, smitten kitten. Oh, phew. Okay. We got, we got a little of most everything. I haven't seen a gorgeous gal yet. Have I? Well, if you're there, say hi. Um, and then we, we only have Larry. Well, Larry, you do man, you're just on recreation. We can actually see the man, you're hot tub from the program launch. It's really funny. And we so, have a sponsor here today. Oh, uh, we do have, we have Carl Johnson of Carl Johnson insurance who is sponsoring love camp. Can you even see him back there? Okay. He doesn't work on Sundays typically, so um, he's not in his workwear. Um, so, okay, I have so many things I wanna talk about and I am a little bit like ADHD. So, um, so we talked about the moon magic, we talked about sort of the arc of the week. And um, so I want to, so the other amazing thing about Love Camp is, um, that we have a morning routine. So um, the morning routine literally can be done in less than three minutes. And um, so I want to go through that right now. So you have that and we will get to do it together. So let's do it together. So we'll do some experiential things and then we'll jump back to like logistics because I do want to go through some of the things in the manual. There are very, very, very strict camp rules. I don't know if you know this. I know Cindy does because she's broken them year after year. Cindy, I've told security, you're on probation for sure. Watch out. Cameras are all over. Anyway, um, so we have some really wicked strict, super don't dare break them camp rules. So we'll talk about that so that, you know, any of you troublemakers, uh, you know who you are um, uh, can, uh, start shaking in your boots. Um, okay. So let's talk about morning routine. So one of the things that is really powerful about love camp is that we are here to actually connect into ourselves. No surprise that creating love in your life for, is an invitation to have that with yourself. I think all of you are conscious enough to have learned that aspect. And then it's like, okay, how do we put that into action? Well, our love camp morning routine is a big part of that. So the first thing, surprisingly, maybe, is making your bed. So this week you are invited to make your bed every day. Maybe you already do this. Um, but one of the things that is really cool and has been proven is that when we start our day making our bed, and keep in mind, you're in a cabin with other ladies. It just is also just respecting the space. Um, but making the bed is one of those things that when you start had the day with this like little accomplishment, then it gives you that sense of um, achievement and and being kind with your space. So we're inviting you in your cabins to make your bed every day. So make your bed every day. And when you're making your bed, why not be singing the Love Camp song? So we're gonna, we're gonna learn the Love Camp song. Some of you already know it, but usually what I find is that when you're singing the Love Camp song, by the time you finish the song, your bed is just really nicely made, you know? Um, it's just enough time. So, so shall we sing the Love Camp song together? I'm always yeah, good. okay. So actually, Larry's a big part of singing, of writing this song with me. Um, and I'm really psyched that he came up with some really amazing lyrics. So we're gonna talk about the, the lyrics. They're in your manual. So it is love camp where we find our beauty. When we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. Is that, did I get that right? 
love camp where we find our beauty when we know we're worthy that's when we attract okay um so just even looking at that love camp where we find our beauty well our beauty our inner beauty or outer beauty like all the beauty and when we know we're worthy which we're going to do the worthiness pledge after this um worthiness is not something you have to earn this is not something we're finding and this is not something you're you know developing skills for you just are that and most of the time we've spent our whole life collecting all of the reasons where we're not worthy we've decided when we were a kid you know our parents said oh you're not good at that and then we just we just made this decision oh i'm not worthy um, we see our parents fighting or they break up and they get a divorce and we think, oh, it must have been my fault. I'm not worthy. Like, so all of these ways that we have collected this get to start moving away when we actually acknowledge our worthiness, acknowledge it. So this love camp song is helping us do that. So plus the worthiness push. So when we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. Because the other thing is, it's the relationship with you. So if you're here and you would like to find a partner, you know you want to share your life with someone, then that relationship starts now. And um, I will say that that relationship starts also with your presence at love camp. Like when you're making it a priority to you know, consume the daily teaching each day, then there's something that you're sending out to the universe that says, hey, this really matters to me. Like I am showing up for this class, for this, you know, opening ceremony as I show up for my beloved. So, and as I would like my beloved to show up for me. So this demonstration is such a powerful energetic force field and you know, partnered, paired with this whole moon thing that's happening. Holy moly, how exciting is that? You know, how does it get any better that we get to have this kind of supersonic? Okay, we're learning the song. So love camp where we find our beauty. When we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. True love is always within us. I know when I trust it, it's my destiny, my destiny. Holy cow. Okay, I know I'm not, not perfect singing, but hey, this is the song and um, we're going to sing it together and let's do a couple rounds of this to really get it in and really, you know, as you do it, sing it for yourself, sing it for you. Sing it for your soul. Sing it for that deepest part of you that brought you here. Sing it for your beloved. Sing it for your future partner. Sing it for, you know, really connect in with this. Um, this has magic beyond words, really. So, um, okay. One, two, three, together. Love camp where we find our beauty. When we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. True love is always within us. I know when I trust it, it's my destiny. My Destiny. Again, and just move your lips. I know I don't have words showing, but you got this. You got this. Love camp where we find our beauty. When we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. True love is always within us. I know when I trust it, it's my destiny. My destiny. Again, love camp where we find our beauty. When we 
know we're worthy, that's when we attract. True love is always within us. I know when I trust it, it's my destiny. My destiny. Okay, let's do it together. And this time, just envision connecting with your sisters, connecting in a big circle. We're all here. And you know what? Energy has no bounds. So we don't need to be in a field, you know, around like holding hands right now. Let's, we, we need, we were using our like energetic hand sanitizer and holding hands right now as we join together and connect with each other. And you will feel this. You will feel this holding hands, hold hands right now. And we're going to sing it together. Love care where we find our beauty. When we know we're worthy, that's when we attract True love is always within us. I know when I trust it, it's my destiny. My destiny. Oh, yay. Awesome. So I will, we're going to have it posted in the group. It's in your manual. Um, you know, there's, we're, we're going to be singing it probably quite a, quite a lot <laughs> every evening, actually, you know, so let's talk about the day. Let's talk about our typical day at camp. So our typical day at camp, hey, Aria, um, our typical day at camp is that each morning we will have a morning. Well, first of all, each morning you're going to get up and you're going to do the, the morning routine which, okay, I didn't finish telling you about that. Okay, so see what happens? I get really excited and then I like spaz out. Okay, we gotta finish the morning routine. So we'll finish the morning routine and then we'll add it into the schedule. So the morning routine is singing the love camp song while you're making your bed. Okay, you got that achievement, check. The next thing you wanna do is go take your shower. This is not a normal shower, this is a love shower, woo! Okay, so how do you take a love shower? What's the difference between a normal shower and a love shower? Well, you can get in your regular shower and you can still take a love shower at the same time. But the, the love shower right now, you can start doing it with me. So as you're here, you can close your eyes. You can imagine right now that you are receiving love from every single direction. So. The love shower is when you're perceiving and tuning into the love coming from all different directions. So even right now, you can close your eyes and you can imagine, like, where is love coming in right now? Right now, you know, just notice it, experience it, because it, guess what? It's coming from every single direction. You know how you've heard about, maybe you've even tried one those showers in Las Vegas where they have sprockets everywhere coming from all the different directions, uh, probably even sort of bidet style coming from underneath. I don't know, like <laughs> they're from everywhere, right? So you have all of these sprayers coming from every different direction and you're just feeling that coming in. So feeling that right now, like really literally take a moment, pause, experience it, close your eyes, feel the love coming from every single direction. And sometimes I'm not going to stand up because you, then you'll be staring at my crotch probably, but um, it's like moving around and like moving in your space. I'm going to post a video of me doing the entire morning routine in the group so that you can see it. It took a minute. Um, so like, but the love shower itself only takes 30 seconds. So take at least a 30 second love shower. Yeah. So receiving it from all different angles. And then what? Then what do you do? You get out of the love shower, you have a seat, and then we do the worthiness pledge. The worthiness pledge is signature, super, super top secret only for love campers, uh, patented triple special uh, pledge that we, we uh, channeled, I guess, 
to support you in igniting your worthiness for real, for good, forever, so that there's no doubt about it anymore, ever, okay? So here we go. Worthiness pledge starts like this. Everybody do it. Bring your right hand up. Make a W. This is a W in sign language. It's also Mr. Buttery Waffle House's name when you go like this because he's deaf. So this is Waffle House. It's not really, but that's what we use for his name. Anyway, worthiness. This means worthiness right now. Worthiness. So we have that W. More like, yes, worthiness. And then we're bringing it into our heart. We are remembering, we're reminding ourselves that we are worthy just because we're human. There's nothing else. We don't have to have a degree or skills or, you know, a track record of anything. Even a worm, even a worm is worthy. So worthiness. So bringing it to your heart, I like to put my other hand on top of it. And then we use the mantra, which is in your manual. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of love. I choose love. I choose, I choose love. love. Now, now, now. Now, 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 now. Super simple, right? I am worthy of love. I choose love. Now, now, now. So now what do we do? We're going to do it in a pattern. We start it out loud. Then we do it as a whisper. And then we do it mentally chanting, which just means in your head, you hear your voice saying it. And then we come back to a whisper and then we come back to out loud and that's it, we're done. So let's start from the beginning. Na, na, na. In, hold, and beginning. Awesome, Cindy, thanks for sharing it. Saying it out loud. I am worthy of love. I choose love. love. Now, 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 I am worthy of love. I choose love. Now, now, now. Silent. Whisper. I am worthy of love. I choose love. Now, now, now. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, 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 now. And just notice it. Breathing it in. There you go. So that's the morning routine, making your bed, singing the love camp song, and then doing a love shower. And then coming in and doing the worthiness pledge. Really, really quick morning routine encouraging you to do this every day. And you know what? I've had many, many, many campers say this was the thing. This was the thing that changed everything for them and that it became part of their, their lifestyle to be including this in their day because it's really not that hard to add a minute a day. And when it becomes just part of your life, you get to have that. So notice right here and now that when we make a choice that creates something for us that, that we like, that lights us up, you get to have that result. So this week we'll also be kind of becoming aware of some of these choices, these thoughts, these experiences, these beliefs, that we have been carrying that are creating poop in our life. So we don't have to choose that anymore. So at Love Camp, this is a place where, you know, I'm sure Cindy can say, like, I'm not, I have to see who else is here, but you know, there's probably some, oh, Amber's here. Amber is someone who's a multi love camper. Sarah's here. She's been here more than once. And, you know, the, this gives you the, the space to choose something different. Um, 
So I'm really excited about that. So what I want you to know is that you being here is an opportunity for something greater. And I really, really encourage you and in the last part of this class, so please, please, please stay for the end. The last part of this class is gonna sort of solidify that for you. And, and that's what Larry and I put together. And it's a little teeny thing, but it's a really potent thing. So that's going to help you take this to the next level and inspire you to show up for all of the classes and maybe even inspire you to come join us with VIP because we have a couple people who are doing VIP. All of the super loved women are doing that plus anyone else who wants to join us and that's going to be really worth it. Really worth it. Um, okay, so what else do I want to say? So we're gonna talk about the daily, the daily. Okay, so we started our morning, we did our morning practice, couple minutes there. Then I am going to give you a special class. And the intention is that it's going to be no more than 10 minutes. I used, I started this doing them at five minutes, but that was when I had, it was a different thing. So now we're gonna, I'm trying to stay around a 10 minute class. Ha ha ha, I, please don't hold me to that. Um, Anyway, the, the class, the daily class, we have five classes. That's going to come at you about 9 a.m. Mountain Time, I'm saying. 9 a.m. Mountain Time, I'll, I'll be, if I'm doing it live, I'll be live in the group. If I am posting something because it's, it's not really a live kind of thing, then I will upload it in the group for you to have it so it'll be there so i know we have different time zones so that's a little later for the east coasters it's mm, i know that's kind of probably not as much of a morning thing when it's we're talking about 11 a.m your time and i know there's a lot of different time zones here but anyway 9 a.m mountain time is when the first thing's coming out then right about um yay new people Right about um, midday, my time, so I'm planning 12, 12 o'clock noon, I will be popping in for announcements. That's when, you know, I will um, kind of give you a little mojo boost. Um, if there's any things, any new things that have come up, if uh, we have lost and found items that have been left around camp, I will be um, showing those so that you can collect them. Um, there will be uh, uh, any security breaches that have happened during the day, we'll notify. Um, and so that's, that's, that's what we do. We have a, an announcement period, which is a nice little motivational uh, boost during the day. And then in the evening, um, well, okay, in the afternoons, you have free time. In the afternoon, you have free time. So in your Love Camp manual, you will see that there are, there's a whole section called free time. And the cool part about free time activities is that there may be things that you are working on, and we're going to look at your intentions in a second, um, that that you want extra support around. So, you know, like for example, if you have a big goal you're going for and you need to like have that more of a clear focus on that, you may want to go to archery and do archer pose, which is there's an instruction, there's a video you can watch to do that. Oh my gosh, thank you, Adiam, for po posting the manual in here. You rock. Um, you may feel like you need to move some energy. So I suggest doing going to the dance studio and doing a one song dance party. I even have some of my favorite one song dance party tunes. Uh, celebrate, Dancing Queen. Hey, you can't lose with those. Um, but I'm sure you have your own. Um, and then what else? There's just a whole bunch of things I encourage you. There's a supersonic worthiness pledge that you can do, which is a long version of the worthiness pledge. That's really awesome if you're feeling like that's kind of where you want more nurturing. Um, so yeah, check it out. I want you to check it out. 
because uh, there's a ton of things in there. You know, there's a ton of things. So that's that's something that you can consider. Like, okay, what what kind of other playful things can I add? So notice right now you could spend 10 minutes a day or you can spend a lot more than that. I want you to do what works for you, but also, you know, push that edge a bit, push that edge, like really give yourself this time. Because like I said, this is not just a normal time. Normally it's, it's a potent time for change, but now we got this whole moon thing happening. So, you know, I really, am personally aware that I want to be super conscious and deliberate with what I'm putting out there and how I'm caring for myself next week in a bigger way. So, so that's the afternoon. There are a couple afternoons where we're doing something special. Is Carol here? Um, anyone see Carol? Anyway, we have a unicorn wrangler for real, um, like for, for real, real, like She's going to guide us on Wednesday afternoon. We're going to do a unicorn ride and you don't want to miss this either because last year was one of the campers favorite things. We're going to be live in the group. We get to all go on a unicorn ride and she guides us through and you really feel like you're on it and it's super amazing. So we're going to do that. Larry's going to teach a yoga class one day and then we have, um, yay. Okay. And then we have the um, then we have a Thursday night talent show. It's called talent show and tell. This is not, this is not literally Thursday night. This is basically Thursday and it's in the group. So any of you who are like, oh my God, I don't do that. I'm no, 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 no. Then don't panic because it really is just sharing. We want to be able to like in relationship, there is this aspect of being able to share your true self that, you know, sometimes can feel vulnerable. So how can you use talent show and tell as that place of like, this is really something about me that is special. Like it's either your art or it's even like, wow, I love to bake. So I'm just going to share, you know, a favorite recipe or, you know, I like taking walks in nature to share a picture of something you saw, like, or just share. I like taking walks in nature. Like this doesn't have to be a complicated share, but if it's something that you share all of the time and it's like really easy schmeasy, then it may, maybe it's something the next level. So really allowing yourself to use this for a, a practice, a playground for, you know, how can I be more open with what I really love and, you know, how can this become a way of kind of eroding the people pleasing patterns of, oh, I'm just going to be what that person wants. You get to be you on Thursday, share it. It's super fun. Um, how many people are, you know, now that I've framed that, how many people were thinking there's no way in hell I would be in a talent show. And now you're like, Hey, yeah, I'm going to share something. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay. Yay. Oh, so cool. All right. Okay. I am going to check the comments because I have been really neglecting that. Sorry. Um, yay. Okay. Aloha. There's a couple Ambers. Carol's not here. She's actually probably literally riding unicorns right now. Um, okay. So Cool. All right. Let's keep going. So um, the other thing is, can you guys see the swirling heads behind me? Okay. Well, there's lights and um, in this reality, this world, there is a character they, they tend to name Santa Claus. Well, um, that's not actually who he is. His name is Hank. He works at camp. He's part of Love Camp. He is sort of behind the scenes. He makes things happen. He paints the cabins. He, you know, uh, he, you know, grooms the unicorns. He does a lot of things for us. And he takes out the trash. Cindy noted that he was really good at, we see him taking out trash a lot. It's really funny. Um, anyway, he is actually our cue for gratitude. So anytime you see Hank around camp, out in the world, 
that's your time to, to remember worthiness, to remember, you know what? I'm worthy and I'm grateful for me to have that gratitude for yourself. So that's your job is go, thanks Hank, because Hank is the cue to go, yeah, I'm worthy, okay? So every time you see Hank in the world, which, you know, you're gonna see him. He doesn't come to the calls, but you're gonna see him. Um, just say thanks, Hank, okay? How's that sound? You guys game for that? Um, all right, so, okay, one more one more thing and then we're going to get into our actual exercise so the other thing is um i mentioned i mentioned vip so for those of you who aren't in vip what does vip get you and you, and you may want to be a camp for a while before you decide this but um once these five days are over we're going to continue so we're going to continue we're also going to have more intimate kind of zoom calls. We're going to have a couple deeper meditations. We're going to have um, some special uh, meditations on Christmas Day, New Year's Day, and we're also going to have a holiday party. So if you would like to have more and you'd like to have this kind of support from now through the end of the year to really dial it up, that's something you want to think about. I want to invite any of you to do that because you're going to also get if you sign up this week, you can get a one-on-one -on -one with me, which then means that, you know, what's that thing that you're wanting to work on? Let's, let's really make that happen for you. So that's something I'm just putting that out there. Um, I really would love to have more of you in there. That'd be great. Um, and okay. So, okay. How many of you, let's see. Okay. So how many of you post in the comments are from a country outside of the US. Let's see, let's find some connections here. How many of you are from a country outside of the US? Post in the comments if that's you. Post your country in the comments. I think there's a couple of you. Yes, Canada. Oh, I didn't know you're from Canada, Mandy. And now you're in Denver, yes. Um, Canada, yes. Oh, hey, Polly, yes. Re returning camper, awesome. And I know Artyom is in Georgia. Uh, okay. Yes, okay, sure, make up a country. That's awesome. Okay, how many of you have uh, animals you're bringing to camp? You have a pet, you have a dog, you have a bunny, you have a horse. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. And if you have one other than a dog or a cat, I totally want to hear that. So post that in the comments. Yay. Jazz, of course. I love Jazz. Oh my gosh, you need to post a picture of her in the group. So please share. Tara's bringing her dog, yay. Awesome, a mare and two kitties. Ooh, there are a couple horses and a rabbit. Yay, I was, oh, yay. Okay, okay, cool, awesome, everyone. Yay, okay, that's super great. And how many of you do, you, how many of you have a big desire for 2021? Like you have this sense of, you know what? No longer am I not having what I want in my life. How many of you are feeling that, like, that yes for something? Awesome. Yes. You know, how many of you, okay, awesome. Yes. Yes, yes. How many of you, romantic relationship? Yes, I'm ready. I am. Okay, awesome. And I, you know what? Relationship is all there is. So, when I talk about, you know, finding the one, this does not exclude everything else. So anywhere where any of you have decided that if you were to say yes to your love relationship, that everything else would just have to fall away. If you have felt that way right now, we're going to do a little magic, destroy and uncreate it. So when I say destroy and uncreate it, we're just we're just changing the energy completely. So anywhere where you've decided 
that if you were to choose your love relationship, that that means that other things would go away or that you would lose something right now, destroy and uncreate that yes or no post. Yes. yes if that's true for you, if you're choosing that. Yay, 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 yay. Oh my gosh, awesome. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, the love relationship that gets to enhance everything else. And what if, what if um, this actually is the ingredient to expand all other things like how does your relationship space actually become the success strategy for all things i i truly believe it does and it's even the process of getting there um is the magic that we can create so right now we are going to do that so one of the things that um, we get to do right now is starting with that ask, the ask that you have. So whatever that ask is, and this isn't something you even have to post in the group right now. You can, if you want, making declarations can be really powerful, but on a piece of paper, hopefully you have your journal or something, go ahead and write down your greatest ask and you know, sometimes these asks um, can feel vulnerable, can feel like, well, I can't ask for that. So anywhere where your inner critics are showing up and saying, well, you can't ask for that. You better put something reasonable, destroy and uncreate that right now, yes or no. So this is about you making that greatest possible ask right now and now as you're writing that down know that we're about to go on a little journey together we're about to we are arriving here at camp so you know you can have your paper nearby with your pen, because you may, you know, as we go through this process, there may be moments where you just kind of want to gently bring yourself to write something down, but without coming out of the experience. So gently bringing from that space of being in the space, um, write something down. So just, just know that. So right now, closing your eyes, Closing your eyes and arriving here right now in this moment. Oh, I'm just so grateful for all of you being here. I'm looking around at all of the beautiful faces here. As your camp director, I just want to say I am so happy you're here. I'm so happy you're here. And if you're watching the replay, I see you. I see you. And I'm so grateful that you're here because you are part of the magic. You are the miracle that makes this, that makes this the perfect formula this year for all of us to co-create our greatest desires together. Please honor yourself. Please acknowledge that. Please acknowledge your genius, your wisdom of even choosing this. Thank you. Thank you. And with each breath, you just arrive here at camp. You're arriving here at camp. And as you arrive here at camp, you find yourself showing up in your special cabin and your imagination is gonna guide you through this process. You cannot do it wrong or more right. Just arriving here, just as your imagination brings you to your cabin, to your bunk that you chose. And as you arrive here at your bunk, you begin to sense the difference that you be by choosing this, just by the special 
sense of the anticipation of what is about to come for you. And I can tell you that you being here is just a choice for opening up to magic and just feeling the anticipation of that, feeling the anticipation of having made a choice that is supporting your greatest dreams and feeling that yes, yes, yes within you. And as you notice that sensation in your body of the sweet anticipation and the yes for your greatest desires, your imagination is going to bring forward an image or a sense of your special camp counselor for the week. And the crazy cool thing about Love Camp is that everyone has their own camp counselor. So your imagination will show you your camp counselor and it may be someone you know, it may be someone dead or alive, it may be a deity of your faith, it may be someone you've never seen, it may be an animal, it may be something in nature, it may be a cartoon. Whatever it is, it's just gonna pop into your awareness. And receiving, allowing this counselor, this camp counselor to be there for you. And if you don't notice something Perhaps it's actually an inner, an older, wiser version of you. But just know that whatever is happening is perfect, right? You can't do it wrong. And so as you're noticing the camp counselor that has arrived in your awareness, in your consciousness, just notice how good it feels to have a support by your side, an additional one of beyond being here among all these amazing women, beyond your other divine support team, but to have this specific one for the week. And as you're here, just go ahead and you can speak mentally in your head to this, this counselor, you can speak your desire, what I would, what I'm asking for this week is, and just speak it out loud. What I'm asking for this week is, what I want support with is, and just noticing what's arising. What I'm asking for this week is. What I'm asking for this week is. and speaking out loud or in your head, just speaking to your camp counselor, anything else you want to share with your camp counselor. So just go ahead and let this be a time where you share your desires for 2021. You share any fears, you share whatever it is that you wanna share, just taking a moment to share this with your camp counselor. I'm not gonna direct it. I'm just gonna allow you to let whatever it wants to flow. Sharing whatever it is you wanna share. sharing whatever it is you want to share with your virtual camp counselor. And then 
you may have more. So know that you can always return back to connecting in with your virtual camp counselor at any time. But just noticing right now and speaking out loud or in your head, how it feels to be able to share this with you. Speaking to your virtual resource, this counselor, how it feels to be able to share this with you. And then using your imagination, as Love Camp is a space of using your imagination, using your imagination, moving your awareness into the sense, the image, the space of your camp counselor as best you can. Just kind of like you're arriving in their shoes, arriving in that space, looking back at you. So as you arrive in that space, moving in there, looking back at you, just doing the best you can. As you arrive there and you see you there, go ahead and your imagination is gonna show you a stream of colored energy. Just receive all that was expressed from you about your deepest desires as you're standing here, looking at you, just notice as your imagination shows you or gives you a sense of what it's like to receive everything that you shared. So receive it for your virtual camp counselor. And as you receive it for your virtual counselor, you'll sense how it's moving into that space of your camp counselor, whether it's a person or an image or something else, just receiving that. And as you receive it, you get a sense of it filling in everywhere. And then speaking for your virtual camp counselor. Speaking for your virtual camp counselor, you say, what I heard from you, what I received from you is, what I heard you ask for is. Just speaking for your camp counselor, what I heard you ask for is. What I heard you ask for is, and then speaking for your camp counselor, how I am here to help you with that how I would love to help you with that, how I'm here to help you with that. Just getting that sense from the virtual camp counselor, how I am here to help you with that and speak that. Awesome. And then moving your awareness from the virtual camp counselor back to you. So as you arrive back at you, looking back at your virtual camp counselor, go ahead and receive all that your virtual camp counselor shared like a stream of colored energy in your body. So noticing the color and the quality and where it's coming in. And as it moves into your body and your being, it circ circulates throughout, moving to every cell of your being, receiving how your camp counselor's here to support you in this. And then speaking out loud back to your virtual camp counselor, what I received from you is, what I heard you say is, just speaking that out loud, what I heard you say is.
and how it feels to have you here, how it feels to have your support at camp, how it feels to have your support at camp. Speak that. And then noticing how that feels. So right now, noticing that feeling in your body of having your virtual camp counselor and also noticing and sensing and perceiving all of the campers that you share a cabin with. Sensing and perceiving all of the campers at camp, the ones who are here, the ones who are um, watching the replay and then sensing and perceiving all of your divine resources beyond that. People on the other side, ancestors, angels, fairies, unicorns, beings, entities, all the cosmos, the creative consciousness, sensing and perceiving that. And as you sense and perceive all these circles from your virtual camp counselor to the campers here at camp to the, your, even your friends and beings who aren't at camp, your friends, your family who aren't at camp that you may not be able to see this year in person. Sensing and perceiving those, all of the animals, all of the plants, all of the, all everything. So just right now, receiving like you would receive a love shower. Go ahead and, and have that love shower of all of the support. This is a support love shower. Receiving all of the support from all of the different levels right now, from all of the different angles, sensing and perceiving the support coming from everywhere, from all dimensions, from your camp counselor on up, noticing how it feels to receive, how, how good it feels to know that you're not alone, to know that you are not creating by yourself, that knowing that your divine destiny, that ask, that ask that was coming through your heart is not separate from you, that is coming from this greater divine intelligence, and how good it feels to know that you are part of that and that this is no accident that you having this desire to be in love this desire to create more purpose on the planet or whatever the things are the desire to have your love story is not frivolous that this is part of your destiny that this is absolutely your truth receiving and allowing and saying thank you thank you thank you divine for helping me remember this that this energy right now and here is beyond that is a frequency that the inner critics cannot even breathe in they're just like <laughs> dead that this is the love story that this is the energy that we get to hold at camp and with each breath, begin to start returning back into the space. Returning back into the space, holding this, knowing that what we are asking for is, is not this is not a wanting, you know, right now, the wanting is something that keeps it from away from us. It keeps it separate from us. This is a having right now. This having is what we're talking about. So, um, I am, I am aware of that I didn't go over camp rules, but I'm going to do something separate for that later because I want to stay in this energy and this frequency of having. And so one, one of the biggest 
teachings I'm, I'm giving you right here and now is that you get to have this. This is the energy of your love story. This is the space, the consciousness, the place that we will play with this week and continue to move beyond. So today, Larry is going to help guide us. We're going to do a mantra together that is to support us in moving from the wanting to the having. So the mantra is, I'm having this. So say it out loud. I'm having this. I'm having this. I'm having this. I'm having this. Having this. I'm having this. Having this. I'm having this. So Larry is going to play the role as the universe. So he had a little hat that said the universe, but you can't <laughs> see it on the camera. So it didn't work out so great. But he's playing the role as the universe. You can see he's there. He's with us. So that little blue thing is says the universe. Um, and so when we say, when we say, and look at your intention on the paper, you can look at that, you can feel it, you say, I'm having that, and then what's the universe going to say? No doubt about that. I'm having that. No doubt about that. I'm having that. No doubt about that. So we're going to do this together. And um, just for sound purposes, you may want to put it on mute because it's kind of funky with the drums and the recording. If you're not on mute, go ahead and do that. And then we'll begin this together, okay? Let yourself move, let your body move, close your eyes, get into it. And we'll do a call and response. I'm, all of us, all of us at camp, the campers, our line is I'm having that. Okay, one, two, three. I'm having that. No doubt about that. 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 Okay, let's pause for a second. So anything that happens at camp where you're noticing yes, that, then this is what you get to do. You get to say, I'm having that. No so doubt. anytime in your life, actually in your days, as you're walking around camp, as you're doing your things, as you're at, at the dining hall, having your morning meal or your dinner, or whatever you're doing, drinking your coffee. And if there's this moment of like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. in my butterfly mug with the coffee, with the creamer I love, I'm having that. So it's like we, we find these energies. This is a treasure hunt of the energies of love and yes, and like, mm, yeah, that we get to go, I'm having that. I'm having that. So this is, this becomes part of our experience. I'm noticing that now we're starting to collect these tools that continue to move the momentum forward. And then sneak peek, spoiler alert, I don't know what we want to call it. It's not a spoiler because it's amazing. On Wednesday-ish, I, I may change my mind, but Wednesday, as of now, we're going to do our all camp campfire as our, as our activity. You don't want to miss that because in that, that's when we're going to clear out the stuff that is the distraction to what we get to have. So you, you absolutely want to come to, well, you want to come to every class. You want to come to as many things as you can. And then we're going to be doing that. So, so let's do, so right now in your space, looking around your space, noticing 
even it doesn't have to be things it can be just sort of energies in your space just start playing with it like right now look around i'm having that um, no doubt about that i'm having that 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 no doubt about that awesome so ben you get to kind of hear the no doubt about that because the, the thing that keeps us from our stuff are the fears, the doubts, these limitations, the beliefs that are, you know, not, not our truth. So um, that's what we get to do. So um, I am going to, so how is that? How is that everyone? How does that feel? Post in the comments, because I want to hear like, who's having it? Who's having that? Who's having it? who's more motivated than ever to come to all five days of camp, which by the way, you come to all five days of camp, you get a ticket in the raffle, you participate in the talent show, you get a ticket in the raffle, you invite a friend. So it's also not too late to invite someone. So who would you like to invite? And if you like having these group things, like being on Zoom and having these kinds of experiences, then what would be possible if you continued and you joined VIP, which is where we're going to have more of these kinds of Zoom experiences. So, and it's only $97 this week. It goes up to $397 later. Super love people. You get this as a bonus. Um, so if you are interested in that, please message me. Please message me for that because we want to have a lovely group of VIPs together to start our new year together. Um, yay. I know that echoing from laser beam, exciting and a little scary to speak up in that way. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. We got you. We got you, Valerie. Love you. You're okay. We're going to, we're going to do this together. Energizing. Awesome. That's really great. So this truly is going to be a magical week. Um, and I'm just, like I said, I'm so grateful you're here. Um, I'm going to post the wicked strict rules. So I guess I can just mini, mini touch on that. The rules are in the manual. And you know, here's what I love about rules is that, you know, I, I don't like rules. That's what's so funny. Like I hate rules, but I put rules in there because um, it's kind of one of those things that this world functions with that, um, helps us to perceive feeling safe, right? So I like to sort of fuck with, sorry, the rules because, um, you know, if you are here and you want a love relationship, if you go out there and you look at most of the coaches and the teachers around this, you're gonna get a ton of silly rules about dating and what you need to do and what you're supposed to do. and and this is how you're going to get it right. If you do it like this, you're going to get it right. And, and what if we, we can just kind of like let that go, you know? And, and this week we get to cultivate the security and safety within ourselves that becomes the guiding light for whatever it is you want to create. So I make up the rules so that um, we can have some fun. But I do have, I do have a couple that, I mean, there's no streaking at camp, you know, why? Because literally you could, you could trip over a log and, you know, next thing you know, you have a pine cone in your butt cheek. Ouch. Right. So, um, there's that, that's, that's, that's reasonable. Um, what is the, what are the other ones? Uh, no going to the boys camp right now. This is time for us. This is, this is a long time with us, you know? So if, so if you're thinking you're going to take a canoe to boys camp, like they did the first year camp, remember that? No. And then uh, what else? Oh, um, respecting the love camp staff. Uh, one year we had um, Gary Green, the Chihuahua, who he was, he was very upset because some girls brought, pulled him up the flagpole. He was in a baby Bjorn hanging on the flagpole that was that wasn't very nice it was hilarious but it wasn't very nice um and what else oh uh, no crunching in your cabin so 
do you guys relate to having those sort of pet peeves in a relationship where it's like, you know, like I cannot stand, I think I have some, I might be sort of like have some, <laughs> I don't know what the thing is. I think it's a, a, a diagnosable thing where if I hear crunching of food, it sets me off. It bugs me. So um, we know. This isn't the case in the man so Man you can crunch. Oh, that is not true, Larry. Larry's <laughs> making up rules that they get to crunch out loud at the man yurt. Man yurt. Um, no, no crunching out, out loud. So one year we did have some recordings of people like crunching it what was it glass they were eating I don't know it was so loud um but anyway so there's some kind of fun little things here so anyway what we also know is as powerful beings that we be that when you're told not to do if you're told to do something you don't always do it until I say don't do it so don't do the morning practice don't do any of these amazing things because you know what? You probably will change. Um, so I'm just I'm just teasing you. And there is something really, uh, really fun about the energy of camp shenanigans. So we'll just see what happens. So um, anyway, how are you all feeling? Should we close with our worthy, let's close with our worthiness pledge. Let's close with the Slub Camp song, a love shower in the worthiness pledge. Let's do that because then we get to practice. So we're, we can pretend like we're making our bed as we're singing this song. So one, two, three. Love camp where we find our beauty. When we know we're worthy, that's when we attract. True love is always within us. I know when I trust it, it's my destiny. My destiny. Awesome, now do the love camp shower. So feeling the love, feeling the love right now from all directions, tuning in for 30 seconds of feeling the love and also noticing the love from your virtual camp counselor, the love from all of the beings, all of the other campers, from your love camp staff, from your friends and family who adore you, and from the animals, from plants, from the cosmos, receiving, receiving from every different direction feeling it, feeling it, receiving, allowing, lowering any barriers to receiving this right now. So allowing yourself to take this love camp shower, moving in it. I like to kind of move and touch my body. Woo and then awesome. And then bringing up your hand for the worthiness pledge because I'm remembering that I'm worthy because I'm human, bringing your hand to that, speaking out loud. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. Oh, no. I am worthy of love. I choose love now, now, now. Yay! Awesome, everyone. We will see you tomorrow. Get ready to receive your first class. Invite your friends. We still want to have as many people at camp as possible. And I am so grateful for all of you being here. We will see you soon. Bye, everyone.